I like this picture. Love That Bob. Starring Bob Cummings. Morning, Mom. Merry day before Christmas. Same to you, dear. Hey, aren't we kind of dressed up? Yeah. Yeah, well, I figure I'm finally old enough to go to Uncle Bob's office party. Oh, really? I've been old enough for years, and he never allowed me to attend. Yeah, well, <laughs> naturally not. I hear his parties are the swingingest, and that's no place for anybody's mother. <laughs> Surely you wouldn't go any place your mother wouldn't go. Oh, gee, Mom. Relax. Your mother will go any place. <laughs> hey, how about it? This year... This year, we crashed the office party. It's a deal. <laughs> <laughs> From what I hear, we're in for quite an experience. Yeah. Say, do you suppose it's true that Uncle Bob hands out crash helmets as the guests arrive? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, Mr. Collins? Oh, yeah? What time's the party gonna start? Oh, we'll be breaking through the sound barrier about 3 o'clock. Crazy! <laughs> What? Oh, Pamela Livingstone. Well, <laughs> my goodness, as I live and, uh, and breathe. <laughs> Enjoy our Noel, Mr. Collins. Yeah, well, merci and, and a bon année to you, too. <laughs> you, you still, uh, you still bird watching, are you, Pamela? Every glorious day. Oh, how heartening. <laughs> At the moment, however, I'm en route to your office. Oh, really? D did you come up in the elevator? Oh, no, indeed. No. Look what climbing stairs has done for my tibulous posterior. <laughs> what? Oh, say, you, you've really got it. That, that's quite a... <laughs> you ought to use the elevator. <laughs> Mr. Collins. <laughs> yes? I have something for you. Oh, really? My employer asked me to deliver this insurance oh, policy. Oh, well, just give it a... Oh, insurance? Oh, yeah, this is the policy covering my office party this afternoon. Just, just give it a Schulte. Thanks. Party? <laughs> yes, Mr. Uh, Collins, there must be some mistake. You see, this is catastrophe insurance. Catastrophe, that's right. J just, just give it a shot. <laughs> Mr. Collins, you know there's a definite discrepancy. You see, this policy applies in case of wind damage. Uh-huh. Well, you ought to see what blows in. <laughs> <laughs> but then I mean such things as hurricanes. Yeah, well, that's what I mean, too. Hurricane Shirley, Hurricane Collette, Hurricane Marie. Mr. Collins, you still don't understand. Now, take clause B. Mm -hmm. Damage in the event of flash flood. Flash flood. Yeah, flash flood. Last year there was seltzer up to your tibulus. <laughs> yeah, well you just give it to Schulte and I'll be putting Dr. Stanner on a, on a standby call. <laughs> Excuse me. Is, is there a rider in there covering injury due to avalanche? Here we are. Yes. Oh, good, good. Last year the fellow in the office below me was covered. But, but not by the policy, you see. It was very sad. <laughs> Oh, hi, Pamela. I was asked to deliver this insurance policy. Oh, yeah, thanks a lot. Are you coming to the party this year? I plan to spend the entire afternoon with glasses held high. Really? Oh. Observing wildlife. Oh. <laughs> oh, then you are coming to the party. <laughs> the party? Wildlife? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Dendron Flavescence. That's mistletoe. And I'm going to be right under it all day. Boy, am I going to get kissed. The pity of it. Mm -hmm. That man should plunder the forest to satisfy his base animal instincts. Do you realize that six of these tiny glutinous berries would sustain life in a fledgling tit willow for one entire day? So? So mistletoe, my dear Miss Schultz, is for the birds. <laughs> Well, this little wren is feathering her nest with it today. When the boss walks in here and picks up the mail, I've got him. You'll have to kiss me. Do you mean to say it's mandatory? Oh, absolutely. This time of year, it's better than carrying a gun. <laughs> Disgusting tradition. No doubt started by an overstimulated meat eater. Uh, oh, the, the kickoff will be around 3 o'clock. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Hello, Pamela. You're still here, huh? Yes. <laughs> Mr. Collins. Uh-huh. Do you know what mistletoe is really for? 
Oh, yes, Pamela, I do. <laughs> oh, well, say, say La Holiday. <laughs> yes, excuse me, please. Mr. Collins. Hmm? from little titwillows grow. I'm so ashamed. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Pick that up and say three o'clock, will you? Three o'clock. Crazy. Hey, Susie, I flew in from Paris for Bob's party. What time do we start? Uh... <laughs> I, um, I beg your pardon. That's quite all right. I see you're a bird man. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, yes. Hail to thee, blithe spirit. First cousin to the hawk, envy playmate of the eagle. Earthbound though I be, in flights of fancy I too saw with my feathered friends, the cloudland. I see the party's rolling. Well, I've got something for you. Well, thanks. I'll need it in here. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Well, the same to you, Mr. Fonda. <laughs> oh, Fonda, you old son of a gun, you. How's everybody in Paris? Talking huh? about your party. No kidding. In Paris? They call it La Grande Affaire du Sauvage Robert. What are you... Sauvage, huh? This year, it's going to be the Sauvages. Yeah. <laughs> Miss Schultz, what are you doing? I'm baiting the glutinous berry trap. And I don't want you or the birds around when I spring it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry. I'll find a crash helmet to bitch you. What time do we take off? Bombs away about 1,500. Got any targets lined up? About 1,500. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you remember Excuse the... Excuse me, boss. I need you in the office immediately. I know, and I'm not coming. It's okay, those pictures of Miss Sweden. Sure, you... Oh. Golly, yeah, I gotta finish that layout with her today, don't I? Excuse me, Paul. <laughs> Excuse me, Schulte. I'd like to take a look at those. Oh, come on, Mr. Fonda, give me a break. Uh, I mean, that's just one girl. If you want to see some pictures, I can give you a whole stack to look at. Okay. Wow, you wow, wow, wow. Hey? Okay. Well, Ingrid. Hey! <laughs> Go to your look at me, door. What? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That makes me so homesick for Sweden. Oh, you, you mean you dig this bit in the old country, too? It's a tradition for many hundreds of years. Well, what do you know? No Swedish girl would dare to break it. No. Well, no American fellow's going to kick it around, either. <laughs> <laughs> you realize I've never kissed you? Yes. Realize how long I've waited? Yes. Ever since you first came to this country? Yes. You could speak about one word of English then. Yes. Unfortunately, that wasn't the word. Yes. That was the word, yeah. Let's just forget about words, huh? Pamela, I thought I... Oh, no, Ingrid. She also go get the champagne for the party, please. Where? Try France. <laughs> Say something. Oh, well, 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 I see we've zeroed in the first target. Next. Uh, uh Paul, go get uh, ready for the party. I'm ready, man. Oh, step into the studio. I don't want my picture taken. That's not what I have in mind. What are you, a mistletoe miser? <laughs> Chelsea, what are you doing? I'm taking down my clouds. Everybody's getting rained on but me. Oh, it's my dancing partner. Come on, Chelsea. Well, Off we go. It's the wild blue. No, he's the one that you want. I've had him. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. What are you doing? I don't think it's mandatory to kiss under the mistletoe. <laughs> well, what mistletoe? <laughs> details, details. <laughs> Well, 
kind of bacchanalian rebel is this? This disgusting exhibition, you, you go change, and I'll deal with these libertines. <laughs> Libertine? Yes, and worse. This is the kind of Roman orgy you intend to indulge in that I suggest that you all hold it in another office. Well, this is your party. My party? Well, th 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 this drunken brawl? Well, Bobby, we were just toasting a few battles. Did we you thought the one you're going to have with Ruthie? No, and that's going to be a beaut, believe me. <laughs> about we got the insurance bob what are you trying to pull bob coming yeah don't be surprised hmm? well i got you where i want you now hmm? <laughs> uh, all right leilani we're ready i'm ashamed to come out Schultzy, that's false modesty. Now, come on. <laughs> All right, now, doctor. Menace her with your spear. That's it, lean a little toward her. Now, you're frightened, Trusty. Good, now, just let me check this moment. Okay. Now, remember, you're very frightened. Minister, that's it. Relax, Doc. I'll get it. Oh, hi, sis. How are you? Hi. You're in the middle of something. I can come I'm back. I'm in the middle of a South Sea Island. We pull up a grass skirt and sit down. Thanks. I can <laughs> Doctor, the, the spear, please. Hey, you must be losing your charm. You didn't used to have to tie them up. Yeah, Rusty Beaumont, I'd like to meet my very witty sister, Margaret McDonald. How do you do? Hi, All right, now, Menacer, that's it. Fighting, Rusty. More. Hold it. Thank you very much. Good one. Okay, Sophie. <laughs> oh, funny, <laughs> boss. Ah, funny, funny. Uh, well, Margaret doesn't have all the wit in our family. I got half of it, you know. You realize what that makes both of us. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much, Rusty. As usual, you were sensational. Uh, thank you, Mr. Collins. So are you. Thanks. Austin's fastest growing television station.